Salvation is my best gift ever You're the tree of life I was lost, now I am found There are many things we don't understand, we don't know about and no questions asked why, for example, we don't know where we come from? Why are we here? We don't ask ourselves these kind of questions. Let's see. At least, we know that after this life, there is somewhere we are going to go called heaven. How do we get back to heaven? How do we enter heaven? And why don't we know our source? How we came from the source, the light? God, who is the light, eternal light. So why don't we know about all these kind of things? Why all these things are hidden from us? And why the devil is fighting so hard to prevent us from knowing these kind of things that would set us or make us free? Let's see. Here are seven signs that you are going to make it into heaven. Everybody in this world is willing to make it back to heaven to live eternal life with Almighty God, the Creator. But are you fulfilling these signs in order to make it back to heaven? Let's see. Sign number one that you're going to make it into heaven. You should keep and teach the commandments. If you keep the commandments, it's wonderful. You don't have to teach the commandments, but at least keep the commandments. Are we keeping the commandments? If we do, then we can teach others how to keep commandments. Yes, of course, you will hear people say, keeping the commandments, it's Old Testament, it doesn't apply no more. It does not apply. We are now under the grace. No, Christ himself says, I did not come to get it away. Or be that way with the laws. Keep the commandments if you love me. Keep the commandments if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven. And I believe Revelation 22, 14 is not Old Testament. You can read about this one from Revelation 22 and 14, which is not Old Testament but New Testament. Sign number two that you're going to make it into heaven. You are walking and teaching about the kingdom, kingdom of God. Of course, heaven is part of the kingdom of God. So, what are you going to do to make it into the kingdom of heaven? Teach and know and learn about the kingdom of heaven. How do you do that? In order to enter or make it to the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. You have to be born again. This we know all of us. John 3 and 3. Be born again. If you want to make it back into the kingdom of heaven, learn and teach about the kingdom of heaven. This is the only way we are going to make it into the kingdom of heaven by being born again. All right? Sign number three that you are going to make it into the kingdom of heaven, you have to get the wisdom and understanding. Here, I have what I call the four steps. These four steps begin with having the reverence. Of God, the fear of God. When you have the fear of God, then you learn the word of God, gain understanding and wisdom. And of course, if you really give it with all your heart, God will give you what we call unusual wisdom. So remember, the days are evil, therefore, you need the wisdom to make the right choice, the good choice, because the days are evil. We read this one from Psalm 111, verse 10. All right? Sign number four that you're going to make it into heaven. Having faith in Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, which is his right name. The Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. You have to have faith in Christ and believe that he rose from the dead. And if you believe that Christ died, was buried and rose from the dead, you will be saved. Being saved in that way, you 
we at the same time make it into heaven, in the kingdom of heaven. You can read it from the Romans 10 and 9. You believe Christ rose from the dead? Then you will be saved. Alright? Sign number 5 that you want to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Sign number 5. Living a life of repentance all the time. I know and I believe if you are awake, you are born again, you know where you used to belong and you know where you stand today as we speak. If you happen to sin and to do wrong thing, you feel sorry, you try to repent. You feel like, oh God, why did it happen? Forgive me, I want to repent. All the time, you focus and think about God, try to repent all the time because you know to make a difference between the bad and the good. You are no longer living the old days, you are living a new life as a new creature. That's why you try to repent at least most of the time. So, repent, unless you repent, you will perish. You see, Luke 13 and 3. Verse 3, unless you repent, otherwise you will perish. You will not make it into the kingdom of heaven. That's why you have to repent all the time. You do something wrong, you, f you have the bad thoughts, repent. Repent because all the things we do are thoughts. You can't do anything without thinking. So that's why Christ gave an example saying that even though you look at a woman or a man for the girls or for women, you have already seen because the thoughts to them in heaven, in the realm of heaven, you have already committed sin. So that's why we have to purify ourselves, repent most of the time, repent and repent and repent the best we can. Otherwise, if you don't repent, we perish. Sign number six that you're gonna make it into heaven. You have the desire and the hunger to be holy and righteous. So, you are really willing to give all the details to be holy and righteous. Remember, God says, be holy because I am holy. So, righteousness. If you are trying to be holy and righteous by doing good all the time, you are blessed and you will be satisfied. If God tells you that you are going to be satisfied, it means after this life, you're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. All the time, I try to imagine and vision the kingdom of heaven, how it's going to look like compared to this life we live in today. It's going to be totally different. We try to keep on things, keep on things of the world. Houses, cars, material things. But if only we could see what is on the other side, we would humble ourselves a thousand percent. So, you are blessed and then you're going to be satisfied. Matthew 5 and 6. Sign number 7. The last, but not the least. You have to be pure in your heart. What does it mean? No envy, hate, grudge, or this kind of evil thoughts. God is good to those who are pure in heart. God himself says, I'm good to those who are pure in heart. So you don't have envy, you don't have hate, you don't think and wish bad things to people because it will get back to you. Psalm 73 and 1, be pure in your heart. Don't hate anyone, don't wish bad things to people. Try best, we try and try and try. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. The more you try, the more you read the word of God, the more you practice goodness, being pure and purifying your heart, God is going to be good to you. And I believe if you have a good heart, no way you're going to miss heaven. All these seven signs, keep practicing them, keep the command, learn about the kingdom, gain wisdom, have faith in Christ, repent desire to learn more about the kingdom of God 
and of course have a pure heart if you do those kind of things i believe you are going to make it to heaven thank you very much for watching may god bless you shalom 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 Salvation is my best gift ever You're the tree of life I was lost, now I am found